Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Um, so just to let you guys know, this is my new camcorder um, that my daughter bought me for Christmas. So hopefully um, the audio is good. Um, I'm not sure. I've done a couple videos and I don't know if I've got the right settings on yet, so I'm still kind of making tweaks to it. So I just want to let you guys know that. So I did a poll on my community page and I asked a bunch of different themes or subjects for readings um, that, you know, were suggestions that I had. And um, I had already done a reading, a love reading for 2020. Um, so I was hoping that that one would an overall win, but also at the same time, I know a lot of people don't want to watch the third party videos. I know they're not fun for people. I get that, but that was second place. So we're going to do another love reading for 2020, but I've decided to switch it up a little bit, um, for you guys. So hopefully you don't mind, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through each of the zodiac signs and do a love reading for each of the zodiac signs for 2020. And this is just going to be for, let's say, the first quarter of 2020 because things can change. Actions that we take cause reactions. And um, so this is not going to be the whole year in, in one reading. The cards that I'm using, as you can see, are the Gilded deck, and I also have the Romance Angel deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one overall Romance Angel card for the reading for each Zodiac, and then I'm going to draw four cards from the Gilded deck um, to go along with that to get some kind of storyline for you as to, you know, what's going on, what to expect. Um, what do your guides want you to know about your love life in 2020? Um, so I really think that's all I have to say. Oh, I just want to mention, um, don't forget I'm giving away a free reading right now on my community page. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, um, subscribe to my Instagram and comment on that post on my community page and tell something that you'll you're thankful for that's happened in 2019 um, so if you haven't gone over there yet to sign up for that definitely go do that before I close it um, I'm gonna wait a while because I really don't have that many people that have commented over there I want to get to at least 50 people in the drawing before I draw someone um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. My battery light is blinking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start um, alphabetically with the signs. So if this is not your sign, you can watch as a cross watcher if you know someone of that sign. Um, and if it resonates with you, that's great. If it resonates with what's going on with the other person, that can happen too. So. Um, be open if you are a cross watcher that it may be you that I'm actually talking about. Um, maybe your guides draw, drew you towards that or maybe you want to watch your moon sign or maybe you want to watch your rising sign or maybe you want to watch your Venus. Um, you're welcome to do all of that and sometimes my you know my moon sign resonates more for me than my actual you know sun sign. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, also, if you haven't checked out my Etsy, I have a lot of readings available over there. Very affordable prices for you. Um, some people are using coupons. Um, I think I've set it up so that if you have a reading in, um, you put it in your cart, but you haven't purchased it. Um, after a couple days, Etsy will email you and say, hey, here's the coupon, you know, for that reading in your cart. So that's just a little tip for you guys out there. If you're thinking about ordering a reading, put it in your cart. 
don't purchase it and then in a day or so you should get a coupon code from Etsy um, also I have my patreon um, I, I haven't posted a video over there in a little bit it's been a few days um, but I very regularly I post videos over there and they're exclusively for patreon um, but it's only five dollars a month so if you want to subscribe to it pay the five dollars and then watch all you know 27 of the videos and then cancel you're welcome to do that the patreon does they don't hook you in for a whole year you can watch all the videos and then cancel it so just wanted to let you guys know that so the first sign that I am going to begin with is Aquarius so if you're Aquarius if that's your moon sign your sun sign your rising sign uh, or if you're a cross watcher you're welcome to watch this so we're gonna get one overall card uh, this is totally intuitive reading so um, love for 2020 the beginning of 2020 we want an overall energy card from the romance angels this is for Aquarius we get one card for Aquarius for the beginning of 2020 I think I'm just going to draw one, you guys. Okay, so you guys get the wedding card. So um, some of you in the beginning of 2020 um, might be getting actually married, or some of you may be meeting someone that's going to be your future spouse, or someone that you just feel like a strong commitment with, a strong bond with. Um, some of you out there may have been married to this person before, um, or maybe you know this person, maybe you'll meet this person, um, through, you know, going to an, a, a wedding, an event. Um, I know some of you out there have done that. Someone did mention to me one time that they went to a friend's wedding and they actually met their partner, so... Um, that's not going to resonate for everybody, but we've got a lot of people watching. Okay, so now we're going to draw four cards to go with this um, to see for Aquarius what's going to happen in the beginning of 2020. Some of you may be shocked, actually, that you're going to be meeting your future spouse. 2020 is the year. Okay, I'm going to draw four cards. I'm just going to pick four out here and then we'll look and see what we've got for Aquarius. Okay, we've got the Justice card. You've got the Two of Wands. You've got the Eight of Cups and we've got the world card okay so some of you actually with the justice card you may be going to the justice of peace and you may be tying the knot you know maybe some of you are gonna elope in 2020 um that's not gonna resonate for everybody but i'm just throwing it out there um because it could happen but definitely i feel like um in your love life I feel like good karma is finally going to be coming in for you. I feel like you've been trying really hard to do the right thing. I think that you know that what you send out is what you get back. And so I feel like in 2020, a lot of you, because of the changes you made in your life, it's going to affect your karma. And I feel like you're going to have good karma coming into you. Um, I feel like things are going to be working out. If you if you do have any court cases, I think that it's things are going to be fair and just for you. I think that uh, you're definitely going to be winning. It's going to be a win-win situation for you, Aquarius. And then we've got the Two of Wands. So I think a lot of you actually will have choices. Um, you know, maybe you will find that person that is going to be the one for you. But you could end up having to make a choice between, um, you know, 
two different choices and I feel like you're looking ahead you're looking to the future before you make this choice you want to make sure that you know this is the right path and I think your guides are actually helping you they're helping you to go down that right path and you know get on the right track as far as your love life and you're being smarter I feel like you're being smarter with the justice card you're being fair um, and because of that the good karma is going to be coming back to you and for some of you out there with the two of wands I feel like um, you're traveling I feel like you're traveling somewhere you're going somewhere um, to see someone some of you could be traveling you know I get long distances here um, to see people but I really feel like it's because you know that it's worth it it's worth it to go this a distance with this person um, for some of you with the eight of cups I feel like this has been a hard road for you I feel like you've traveled a long road in your love life and along the way you've had a lot of things that you've had to abandon that you've had to walk away from and I feel like um, it's really helped you to figure out what you really want you know withdrawing from these situations that were emotionally really really hard for you um, they've really helped you to grow and expand and be a lot wiser so the next person that you meet, I feel like this is why this person could be your future spouse because everything that you've learned from these past relationships, you know, um, these memories of, you know, these relationships that just didn't work out that you had to walk away from, I feel like have really put you on a path where you know what you want and you know what you don't want because you've been there and you've done that. Um, with the world card, I, I feel like a lot of you are getting that success that you want, that conclusion, like the wedding, like you're meeting that person who is encompasses everything that you've really wanted. And I feel like you're going to be kind of overwhelmed that everything is going to turn around for you. The world card is major arcana. It's 10. It's about completion. It's about reaching you know that success that you've really been looking for it's it's like the universe is rewarding you for all that you've gone through you know the path that you've been on and the choices that you've made and I feel like you've made the right choices you've been fair when you've you know made choices um concerning your love life and I feel like you've learned so much because of these experiences these emotional experiences that you've been through so Aquarius very good reading for you as far as 2020 I feel like it's going to be wonderful for you okay so moving on next we're going to do Aries so hello Aries my rising sign oh my rising sign is Aries or is it my moon sign I always get those mixed up because I've got Leo um, no Aries is my moon sign and Leo is my rising sign but I've got a lot of fire in my chart so I can relate to you guys I really can relate to you guys so let's get one card for the overall energy I apologize my furnace it's pretty loud but it's cold here so I'm not gonna turn it off for you guys I don't want to be cold so it'll turn off in a minute so let's get one romance angel card as the overall energy okay so you got one right away we are we all saw it but I put it back it was romantic feelings and now we've got flirt so um, extend your light-hearted energy to others Hopefully that's, um, you guys can see that. Okay, so we're going to get four cards to go with that. 
So this is your overall energy for your love life in the beginning of 2020. I feel like nothing too deep, nothing too, you know, serious. I feel like having fun, enjoying yourself, uh, laughing, you know, flipping your hair, doing all that cute stuff to attract people. I feel like, you know, touching, just like touching back, you know, hand, just little intimacy things, meeting new people, not being afraid of that. So let's get four cards to go with that, Aries. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, you've got the Emperor. You've got the Fool. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. And you've got the Queen of Cups. So we've got a lot of signs going on here. Obviously, we've got the Aries. Um, we've got Air signs. We've got Water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, so yeah, you could have a lot of people that you're dealing with, Aries. Um, but that's good. You're very social anyways. So of course you're going to be interacting with lots of people. Um, if you're the masculine, I feel like um, you're going to be very strong. I feel like, uh, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. But this person, very strong. Um, a lot of respect for this person. This person is very wise um, as far as in business. Um, they're just, they know what they're doing. They're a master of what they're doing. People look up to them. They see them as a leader, as someone who, you know, has order in their life. Um, so Aries, you know, if this is you, then definitely you're coming into your power. You're going to be able to, you know, handle your life. You'll be able to plan organize, you know, do whatever you want, um, or this could be a person that you're, you're meeting. And then we've got the fool, which I love. This is a total opposite kind of, kind of energy. So we've got one person that's just, uh, very orderly, you know, very almost earthy kind of with the, the way that they plan and they organize and they strategize. Um, but then we've got the fool who is just like, um, carefree, um, freedom loving, um, you know, just making choices, just spur the moment, like, uh, spontaneous. Um, so we've got two different kind of energies here, but with the flirt card, I think, um, it's kind of welcome, welcoming to see the fool here. Um, it's just like diving in and just going for it. And, you know, that's what Aries is about. Aries is kind of like the one that is very bold and just action driven and has courage. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be just being a boss in your love life, getting out there, being carefree. And then with the se seven of pentacles, just seeing where it goes, seeing where it leads, um, waiting for it to move into the next um, you know, phase. So I feel like, um, you're creating things. You're going to be creating things in your love life. And, um, you know, they could grow very fast, but I feel like, um, just meeting people, being flirty, being carefree, being fun, um, being spontaneous, being lighthearted and not fe feeling guilty about it. Um, you know, feeling amazing and being receptive towards other people. Um, so it's being hopeful is what I feel and hoping that, you know, it grows into something else. And with the Queen of Cups, it's very emotional, like, but, you know, mature in your emotions. So it's like being nurturing, being loving, being romantic, you know, being that caring, empathetic person, um, also being very intuitive. So I feel like, um, Aries, I feel like, um, lots of good things happening for you in your love life. Um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there is what I'm getting from this. 
and be the boss in your love life. And you could be meeting someone. Um, if you're the masculine, you could be meeting someone very loving, very caring, um, very nurturing. If you're the feminine, then I feel like you could be meeting someone very masculine, someone very um, fatherly type, you know, husband material. Um, so yeah, just keep it fun, keep it carefree, and then see where it goes. So beautiful reading. Okay, moving on. Next, we are going to Cancer. So Cancer signs, hi there. Let's see what is going to be happening for your love life in 2020. This is going to be the beginning of 2020. So um, Cancer signs uh, could be your moon sign, your rising sign, your sun sign. You could be a cross watcher. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Get one card for the overall energy. Okay, so you got two cards. So Cancer, you've got a lot um, that the guides really want to tell you. The romance angels want to tell you. Um, stay optimistic. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So Cancer, I feel like you have to be optimistic about your love life. You know, this could be something that's hard for you to keep the faith and hope that you're going to really meet someone. Um, so I feel like that's what you need to work on. Um, and you're going to meet someone that you're going to have romantic feelings towards, definitely. We've got the Two of Swords. That came out pretty fast. Okay. This one, this one wanted to come out too. Oh, the Emperor. Okay, we got that in the last. And one more card for Cancer. One more card for Cancer. Okay, Cancer. So I kind of feel like I, you know, you got two Romance Angel cards for a reason. I think that um, you're having a hard time, you know, trusting your intuition. You're having a hard time listening to your emotions. And I feel like you, for that reason, um, you really don't know what's coming in your love life. You're not trusting what's coming in your love life. Um, you could be thinking that people are, you know, out to get you and um, really having a hard time trusting. Um, you could, you know, be a little bit argumentative um, with some people, um, even people that really aren't trying to argue with you. Um, but I feel like you've got a block on your intuition right now and you're having a hard time trusting um, yourself and your emotions and so you're kind of guarded right now is what I feel like um, so the romance angels want you to stay optimistic about your love life I, I see that ultimately what you want is to have this love on a higher plane you really that's your wish that's your dream is to bring this into reality to materialize this and I feel like that is the reality that you want so you need to focus on that um, you know if you're optimistic if you stay positive then you can manifest that that's what you want ultimately but I feel like because of the guarded feeling the blocks that you're causing um, you know, it, it's preventing this from coming in. So you're very wise. You're actually with the emperor here. I feel like you're very, very wise. And 
you're powerful. You're a powerful person. So if you really try to manifest what you want, I feel like you could do it. But at the same time, you're so rational that you have a hard time trusting that, can I really bring this happiness into my life? Can I really, you know, manipulate what I want into reality? And yes, you can. Yes, you can with the emperor. Um, you know, he's got a, he's got a magic wand here. This is what I'm calling this, um, for this reading. So you can really manifest this into your life. You can, you have all the solutions that you need, but I feel like you're, you're just kind of blocked from your power right now. Um, but this is just the beginning of 2020. But I feel like, um, if you're the feminine, I feel like you're going to meet someone that's really going to make you feel solid, that's going to make you feel protected, that's going to make you feel safe. Um, so don't be too afraid to be optimistic about this person coming in. I feel like they really want to be that person that defends you against maybe yourself, maybe your negative thoughts. I feel like this person they want to be there for you to help you um, to be more optimistic. Um, they want success with you and they know they, they're fighting against not only other people, maybe competition, but they're fighting against you, your, your own blocks, your own you know, guardedness. And they have romantic feelings for you. So your problem, Cancer, is letting that wall down being vulnerable with this person because I feel like this person does not want to harm you. They don't want to hurt you. They want to defend you against yourself and other people that could want to, you know, harm you. So this is just a wake up call for you to let down your guard and be more, you know, open to love because that's what you want. Maybe you're not saying it, but that is really what you want, Cancer. So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for coming. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so moving on, Capricorn. Capricorn, what can you expect for the beginning of 2020 as far as your love life? What can we expect for Capricorn? in 2020. Can we get one overall card for the energy? Nope. I'm just going to take the top one, you guys, because it's not revealed, so it's okay. We've got playfulness. Okay, so Capricorn, you need to, you know, recapture that inner youthful spirit, that fun. Um, you need to play more. You need to not be so serious. This is what your angels are telling you. Um, don't feel guilty to take time off if you have to, to focus on yourself, to bring your spirits up, to have fun. Um, you know, it's really going to help you overall as far as your power. If you give yourself time to play. Downtime is very important. I, I'm sorry, I hit the camera here. I dropped the card. Okay. So you've got the Knight of Swords. Oh, goodness. All right. I think that's good there. So you've got the Knight of Swords. Let's get four more cards. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn. Or this could be your moon sign, you know, rising sign. We've got the Seven of Wands. We've got the Emperor. We're getting similar cards for each of these readings, you guys. So I feel like a lot of you, you have a lot of, you know, uh, energy, not just your sun sign. You, you encompass all of the signs, really is what I'm feeling for a lot of you out there. You're probably watching more than one of these um, <laughs> these readings. But that's perfectly fine. And the cards are just Capricorn. There's so much energy with you. They're really flying out of the deck. 
Okay, so Capricorn, we got your cards. It wasn't easy. It really wasn't easy, but we got them. Okay. So I feel like you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, it's really important to be playful, Capricorn. I really feel like that because you could be going through a lot in your love life. I feel like... Um, there's going to be people that are coming up against you that aren't really agreeing with you. Um, there are people that are really going to be coming at you from all directions. I feel like, um, you know, these people really oppose what you're doing, what you're thinking. Um, and they're not afraid to tell you. They're not afraid to tell you. I feel like they are even maybe watching you just waiting for you to do something so they can jump in and and say something to you about it um i feel like it just just there's so much that these people they just have to say to you it's like it's not even any of their business it's like can you please stay out of my business that's what i'm feeling with you capricorn um you just you're i feel like you're going to you're going to be like the emperor. This is what you're going to feel like you have to be. You're going to feel like, okay, I'm going to have to put my emotions on the back burner. I'm going to have to be powerful. I'm going to have to tell these people, hey, hey, back up off me. You know, this is not right. You know, I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. I feel like with this conflict, you're, you're going to nip it right in the bud is what you're going to do. Um, you could hurt some people's feelings with the Nine of Swords. I feel like, um, you know, you might have to do that. You might have to cut off some friendships with people. I feel like in 2020, you're going to be very powerful and you're just going to tell it like it is. And that's how you're going to move through the beginning of 2020 is if these people are not willing to you know support you in your beliefs they're not going to be receptive to you um i feel like you're just you're not going to have any sympathy for them and you're just going to tell it like it is you may even have fun doing that some of you out there capricorn um i know you're known for the the devil card but maybe you are having to channel some of that energy um, for these people because maybe these people they really oppose you they're just waiting for you to make a wrong move so they can say something about it and I feel like you're just gonna you're just gonna cut them off and you're gonna have to put your emotions on the back burner um, so I don't know what to say enjoy yourself that seems wrong but I feel like you're just gonna have your courage to do this if you've been wanting to do this I feel like you're going to feel powerful enough that you can. Whoever these people are, you're just going to cut them off and tell them. You could hurt their feelings, but it's it's going to make you happier overall. It's going to make you shine. You're going to have fun doing it. I don't know. That's all I'm... That's, a, that's where we went, Capricorn. I don't know why, but we did. So good luck to you. Good luck to you. Okay, so next we're doing Gemini. Geminis, my fellow Geminis. I love you guys. We are just, aren't we the best, you know? I just love, we're so happy and we're so, you know, smiley. But then the next minute, we're, we just, you know, totally flip and be a total different person. Wow, okay, so we've got two cards. We've got one in reverse for you, Gemini. We've got um, finances and career, but this card is reversed, and we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So, I feel like uh, there's a lot going on for you, Gemini, as far as your love life. Um, with the finances and career card in reverse, because this says, I don't know if you can see it, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So with this reverse, I feel like they're not, okay? I'm, I'm taking that literally. I feel like they're not. Um, they're not affecting your love life. I feel like you don't care. You really don't care um, about 
what the other person makes. You really don't care if they, you know, can buy you diamonds and pearls and all that. I don't think you care. I think that's not affecting your love life at all. I think um, if there's a person that you're interested in, um, I think you're just going to tell them and be like, I don't care, you know, if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year that really is not what I'm happy about you know I'm happy about spending time with you I want you to be around I don't want you working all the time um, if we have to you know cut back on traveling or you know spending just so we can spend time together I feel like Gemini you're gonna tell you know your person that your love interest that this could be a new person or this could be a person you're already with or have been seeing. Okay, let's get four cards to kind of clarify that. Oh, Gemini. Oh, there's always so much drama with Gemini, isn't there? A lot of times. Okay. So, Gemini, I'm in the same boat as you. This is us. We've got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, we've also got the Six of Swords. So I feel like there's been someone that you've broken up with. There's been a relationship that didn't work out. It came to an end. I think um, you could have been vicious. You could have said some things. Um, we, we're not always, you know, bubbles and, you know, balloons and, and flowers. We have we can have a harsh side as well so i feel like there was a breakup with someone you could have been harsh i feel like maybe you just told them the truth like you didn't hold back you just told them you're like this is why i don't want to see you anymore and you were perfectly clear um very you're very wise i mean gemini so you just told them this is why it's not working out with this this is why you have to go so see this person is they've literally gone and i feel like gemini you you may have said something to them and now you're 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 back pedaling you're like oh shit oh shit oh shit i i need to go face the music i need to say well, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, really mean to say that, you know, it was the spur of the moment, and I was angry, and it was, you know, I feel like you weren't coming from an emotional place, you were coming from, like, an angry place, you were coming from a mad place, like, you had to tell this person what you thought, and you were, you, you know, you were just telling the truth of what you felt, and this person went away and I feel like um, they could be coming back they could be coming back and I feel like they did turn their back on you for some of the things that you did and said to them w during the breakup um, I don't feel like you slashed their tires or anything like that but I feel like you could have said something that really hurt this person so they turned their back on you but I feel like you could be moving back towards them um, you could be traveling in their direction, or maybe this is them. Maybe they're deciding to come back, face the music, and really talk about the problems. Because I feel like you weren't telling them anything that wasn't true. You just could have been a bit blunt about it when you said it, and maybe hurt them a little bit. So I feel like they're going to come back. You're going to tell them, I don't care, you know, about finances. I don't care how much money you make. Um, maybe some of the things I said were a bit harsh. And I feel like you're just going to discuss your feelings, which, Gemini, I don't feel like you're really good at doing that. So, good luck doing that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say, Gemini. That's what I'm going to say. Good luck doing that. I'm not being rude at all. Okay, so Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's get an overall energy for you. My rising sign is Leo. Okay, this one's a jumper. I just got that card. Okay, so heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So Leos, you're also going to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So 
buck up and be ready for it. Let's see what these conversations are going to be about. They're, they're going to be about your feelings. So 2020 is going to be a time to talk about feelings. Let's get four cards to go with that, Leo. I'm just going to draw some out. The Empress. The Chariot. The Queen of Cups. Wow. And the Five of Cups. So we've got a lot of feminine energy. I feel like there's a lot of feminine Leos out there watching this. And you are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are a queen. You are a diva. You're a girly girl. I feel like a lot of you are girly girls. Very loving, very nurturing, a mother, um, a voluptuous, um, and very powerful. And, you know, Leos, you are the, the lioness of the tarot. And I feel like um, people are lusting after you. People really want you. People are aware of you and some people are overwhelmed by your energy. You kind of, you let off this energy and it can be exhilarating for some people. It can be shocking for other people. Um, but I feel like you're adored by a lot of different people. But I feel like um, some of the heart-to-heart -heart conversations that you're going to have are going to be hurtful for the other person. I feel like there's a masculine in particular who is feeling this loss, um, this feeling this um, great loss in, of your presence because, like I said, you have this big energy. You have this, you are powerful. You are, you know, you're just beautiful and voluptuous. Like I said, you're feisty, um, you're passionate, um, and this person, they were very attracted to you, and they're feeling a lot of loss, regret, they're feeling unloved from you, and um, they want to talk about it. So, I don't know that you, you want to talk to them with the chariot here. I feel like, look at the way she's looking to the side. Like, she notices him there, but she's just like, she's like, oh, yeah, that's too bad. So I feel like she's just moving on, you know. I feel like if you're Leo, maybe you're just moving on, you know, because the chariot is about movement. Um, it's about action. It's about change. It's about journeys um, and determination. So I feel like... You are determined to move on from this person, um, but I don't feel like they're ready to move on from you. They still want to talk. They still want to talk about things. Um, at one point, I feel like you were very loving towards them, and that's what they are, they're reminiscing about, but I'm not sure that you want to talk to them about this because whatever happened, you know, um, they regret it. I feel like they did something and um, I feel like I almost feel like you're done Leo. Uh, I feel like you move on really quick and I feel like you're done with whoever this person is. Not sure who but um, could be cancer, could be water sign. I don't, I didn't get enough to know exactly but it is what it is, right, Leo? Okay, so moving on, um, let's get an overall energy for Libra. So for the Libra out there, love life in 2020, overall energy for Libra. Okay, we're going to take this one. So these are not ready yet. So we've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Libra beautiful so Libra I feel like there's someone that you just can't forget that you can't get over I feel like it's very overwhelming and you could feel helpless in this connection like um, it's gonna the thoughts of this person 
are never going to go away. They're going to last a whole lifetime. Could be good, could be bad, you know? Let's, let's see more for Libra. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, Libra. Five of Wands, the Sun card, wow. Seven of Swords, wow. The Devil, oh my gosh, Libra. Okay, Libra. This is reminding me of an ex of mine. So I'm the cross watcher here. Okay, so whoever this person is, I feel like you were fighting with this person. You were really, 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 really going at it with this person. I feel like there were arguments. I feel like there weren't, it wasn't fair. I feel like things that were said were extra. There were a lot of things said that were way too extra between you and this person. You could have been envious of this person. They could have, this person could have been greedy for you. This person could have lied to you this person I feel like um, it was something that was great okay something that was wonderful but also something that was disturbing and uncomfortable okay so it's a lot okay because we've got the Sun card which is yes oh so happy um, in love and you know joyous and my inner child is happy you know um, I'm so optimistic and then we've got the card right beside it where it's like you lied you cheated you you know you were abusive to me verbally maybe even for some you know physically I feel like this person wanted to control you they wanted to trap you they wanted to keep you in a box they didn't want anybody else talking to you looking at you even in your vicinity this person like I said when this card came out it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing I feel like this person they are obsessed with you um, they felt your charm and I feel like you guys did have a lot of love but I feel like it's a twin flame and twin flame relationships can be they can be great and they can be very painful and I feel like you guys went through that whole I felt I feel like it was a roller coaster with this person there were ups there were downs when it was good it was great and when it was bad it was awful so I feel like you're just still thinking about this person because it says this is the romance of a lifetime so I feel like you're still working on forgetting this person or trying to but I feel like this person they could be low-key obsessed with you um, they could be trapped mentally you know thinking about you thinking about the good times thinking about when you guys were together and it was the, the attraction was it was hot it was very hot I feel like there was a lot of passion there was a lot of lust and it's hard to forget that because it was so powerful I really I think that you you will be able to be happy again I don't know if you'll get back with this person I'm not seeing that Okay, so moving on to Pisces, Pisces, let's get an overall card for Pisces 2020, Reconciliation, okay Pisces, so this could be Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Venus, this could be just you're watching because you want to, okay, so we've got Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning, so Pisces, get ready for someone of your past this could be someone from a long time ago um, could be someone from you know your childhood it could be someone from you know 10 years ago it could be someone from five years ago it could be someone from you know 
one year ago. Okay, let me get that card. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles. So Pisces, it could be an Earth sign. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That could be coming back from, you know, or this could be your Moon sign, uh, your Sun sign, your Rising sign. This could be in your chart. Let's get three more cards for Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Good cards. Really good cards. Okay, so Pisces, I see um, a reconciliation with someone. I think that um, they're pretty stable. They're pretty dependable. I feel like this person, they're reliable. And they're a hard worker. And they really get the job done. And I feel like you can trust this person. Um... I feel like they're a very solid person. With the, the Ace of Pentacles, I think they're ready to offer you something that is, you know, stable, that is solid. They want to start something new with you. Um, you know, maybe this is someone from work, or this could be, you know, um, just someone that wants to help you financially. Um, this person, I feel like they are just they naturally have success around them they have a lot of luck um good luck and i feel like they they live this life that's very good it's very you know successful and i feel like they want you to be part of that so I, this person could be slow you know i feel like they're from the past because they've been slow you know but with the eight of wands they're like Oh, I'm so slow. They, it's like they know it, and they're like, I gotta do something. I'm, I'm the slowest person ever, and I need to communicate. I need to move forward. I need to take some kind of action to change things. So they want to come back, and they know that they have to change, and I feel like they are, and they're ready to come in and, you know, maybe make this new love offer to you. They could be like your Prince Charming, and they come in after they've been sitting forever and they tell you you could be shocked this person comes back and you know they they've been working hard when they've been away um, but they haven't really been in their emotions and I feel like they're ready to be in their emotions and to tell you that they want this reunion with you and they want to um, get back with you they regret you know this separation and they want this new opportunity with you something more solid something more dependable so yeah Pisces I really feel like this is your time you know opportunities coming in for you it could even be work opportunities but we're talking about love so I feel like some sort of new opportunity with someone of the past so I'm going to go to the next. Okay. Sagis, my Sagis. How are you, Sagittarius? I apologize. My furnace just turned on, so hopefully um, you can hear me. It will turn off in a minute. It's just kind of loud. So Sagis, let's get an overall energy for my Sagis out there. 2020, one card. Okay, we're going to take both of those for you, Sagis. We've got um, Soulmate, and we've got True Love. So I feel like you're meeting someone who is a soulmate and is the love of a lifetime. So this is like a one-time deal. You meet this person, and it's like, damn, I can't get enough of this person. I love this person. It's like you can't get over this person and you just have this bond with them okay all right we're gonna take them all oh geez okay saggies this is you 
this is you. Um, if you're the feminine, I feel like you are very attractive. You are very hot. Um, this person, I feel like they're going to notice you. They're going to feel like you charmed their pants off. Um, maybe literally with the devil card here. Um, you charm them and they, they're in love with you. They really are in love with you. They feel like you're their soulmate. Um, I feel like in the past they have had choices that they've had to make, but to them, they always kind of knew that they wanted to go down that path that led to you. Um, they, they could be admiring you from afar. Um, they could see that you live this life of maybe, you know, luxury, not it doesn't mean you have to be like have lots of money um, it just means that you know how to take care of yourself and you focus on yourself and making yourself happy it's like you don't need someone else to bring you happiness you can bring yourself happiness and so I think this person that attracted them to you um, because you're so self-sufficient and you're always you know happy on your own and it's like you don't need them but that made them even want you even more and I feel like um, things have to change with this person things have to change for the better and I feel like this person has a hard time controlling their lust for you I feel like um, that could be what made them hesitate um, or withdraw or just pull back from you is because they really couldn't control themselves when they were around you um, they they kind of felt trapped by their lust for you and they know things have to change saggies and I don't know if they can like I don't know can you can you make yourself less attractive and then maybe they'll have the courage to come towards you I don't know I don't know so maybe work on that in 2020 try to be less attractive so this person can approach you because I feel like that's why they can't approach you they know that they have to make some changes um, to get the outcome that they want um, so I don't know what the conclusion is going to be, but, um, at least they realize that to come towards you, they do have to make some changes. So let's hope that they do. Let's really hope that they do. Okay. My Scorpio is out there. My daughter's a Scorpio. I love you Scorpios. You can be unpredictable sometimes though sometimes I'm scared of you you Scorpios but I love you still <laughs> let's get one overall energy for Scorpios love in 2020 love in 2020 Scorpios the beginning of 2020 Scorpios let's get one card Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings, okay? Scorpio, I feel like um, even though you're a water sign, I feel like you have a hard time um, really talking about it because it is so close to the surface for you. Like your emotions are close to the surface and I feel like that's why you feel like you have to be so protective of them is because they're always right there at the surface and so I feel like you have a hard time really communicating them with people um, it's it's like when you do release them they just it's like a floodgate it's like it's opened and it, you can't stop it once it starts so I feel like that's why you know some of you saggies out there do that is you guard it like with this three of wands it's like um 
you don't want to think about it, you know? You just want to kind of put your back to it. The Six of Cups. So it's someone of the past that you're really thinking about. Someone that, oh, you had so much fun with. You had a lot of love for this person. Um, you are very emotional, Scorpios. And this person really brought out your emotions. This person made you feel like probably butterflies in your stomach. Um, this person, you know, they made you feel that romantic way that you are, that you truly are, but you kind of block. Um, this person, you just, you love them so much, but I feel like you, you withdrew from this person. You kind of cut this person off and you turned your back on this person, but it's like you haven't stopped thinking about this person it, they, you could think about this person all the time and it's like you want this happy you know family with this person you want this reunion with this person you want to be playful with this person um, you just remember you reminisce on all of the memories the friendship that you had with this person um, but because of your emotional instability is what I feel like you cut this person off it's like you're afraid of your own emotions Scorpio and being vulnerable with people and so it's like you you feel like you have to have this sword like this sword is out of its sheath you know this you see the way um, it's been pulled out of its sheath it's like you feel like you have to have that sword out all the time defending yourself because you are very vulnerable and so people don't get that from you unless they're an empath like you know a lot of us are but I, I feel like you know this person is a lot weaker than they come across um, and so it's like Despite the fact that this person has gone away, you still can feel, from a distance, you can feel that love with this person and just remember the good times with this person. So it could be the time in 2020 when you really get down to the nitty gritty and really talk about things rather than having that sword out of that sheath all the time. I feel like Scorpio, it's time to put that sword away and kind of you know trust that this person that you can reveal your feelings to them and they're not gonna hurt you so you know that's what i have for you scorpio hopefully that resonates with you this is just the beginning of 2020 so that's what i have so taurus taurus is next let's get a card for taurus love life in the beginning of 2020 for taurus Hopefully you like this reading. Let me know. Now that I have a camcorder, I can do longer videos and I'm kind of I'm kind of into that. I'm kind of loving that. Okay, one card for Taurus. Codependency. Okay, Tauruses. I feel like a lot of you out there you you rely on people you really have a tendency to lean on people emotionally I feel like um, you're not very good on your own and you're always looking for someone to kind of lean on and that can be a lot for other people to handle to have to it's a lot of pressure for them to be your happy place is what I'm feeling um, and I feel like uh, you don't want to be that way, at the, but at the same time, you like being that way. You like other people to kind of fill your cup and make you feel good. And I feel like it's, it's, it's like an addiction, you know, you, you, you suck people in 
and you you suck up all their energy and then they have to go away and recover and you feel good temporarily but it then it's like energetically you're looking for that next high for some of you out there it could be like addictions addictions but um you could be giving that up you know or trying to control that whether it's addictions or you know codependency addictions on other relying on other people's energy i feel like you could be an energy leech to some people okay all right oh again okay so yeah that's what i'm feeling um that's what I'm feeling, Taurus, is that um, there is a lot of people that have been around you. I feel like uh, could be Capricorn, could be Aries, Leo, Sag, could be um, could be Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but you have a problem relying on other people. This could be, you know, sexually. You could be kind of greedy that way. It's like, I want that loving. I want that loving because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel attractive. You know, when you attract these people sexually, um, I don't feel any sense of love, but I feel like it brings your power out. You feel good about yourself. So that's why you're codependent on these people. It's like, well, if they want me physically, then there must be something good about me, you know, um, it makes you feel good about yourself, but I feel like you don't need that, you don't need that sexual gratification to feel good about yourself, I feel like in 2020, you're being, you're becoming more independent, and you're gonna be like, okay, I'm powerful all on my own, and I'm solid on my own, I don't need to have other people to like boost me up. I don't need to be that, you know, energy vampire anymore. Because maybe you don't like doing that. You're like, oh, I stole all that person's energy. Now they're not around and they can't handle it. And you're addicted to doing that. Like it made you feel powerful to steal that other person's energy. Like, and it could have hurt them, you know, it could have hurt them. Like you go in, you, you know, have sex with them and then you leave them and you feel great, but then you're making them feel like crap. Um, it, you're changing that. I think you're changing that. You're becoming much more self-sufficient. You're becoming much more solid on your own and you can have success on your own. I feel like you don't need these other people um to boost you up like and you don't want to do that anymore i feel like you don't want to do that anymore you don't want to have like meaningless flings with people you know just because you're hot um you want to control yourself is what i feel and i feel like you're gonna work on doing that you're gonna work on getting your courage up um awakening to your own power you don't need to suck anybody else's energy or power just boost your own you know with your confidence with your courage and I feel like that's what you're doing um, Taurus that's what I feel like you're doing um, you can fight your own battles you know within yourself that's what I feel like it, it, it's all within yourself it's within your head it's like those negative thoughts like just fight them because nobody else is going to do it for you so that's what i feel like taurus you got to fight your own mental battles uh codependency issues it, the brain is a powerful tool is if we use it the, the right way you know so that's all i have for you that got a little deep but it does sometimes okay last but not least my virgos out there gotta love virgos Sometimes not, but mostly, mostly. Very hardworking people. They get a job done. If they have a job to do, they get it done. We'll say that about Virgos. 
We've got children. Okay, Virgo. So do you have children? Uh, are there children affecting your love life? That's what this is saying. Let's get some more cards to kind of clarify. Um, are children an issue? Are children a problem? Do you have bad children? Are they bad? I bet. Yeah. I can relate, Virgo. And this could be, you know, if you don't have kids, this could be your own inner child is screwing up your love life. That child that didn't get hugged enough is just messing everything up. Okay, let's get four more cards for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Four cards for Virgo. These cards are not cooperating. Maybe your Virgo is not cooperating. Strength. Okay. Three more cards. Well, there. Okay. Virgos. All right, if you are a feminine, I feel like uh, you're crushing it, okay? If you're a Virgo and you're feminine, you're crushing it. People are noticing you. People are seeing you, your strength. Um, you're taking control, and people are looking to you as a, you know, healer as a inspiration other people see your strength and they're kind of jealous of it they see your confidence and um it's not like an ego thing it's just like you just people get it they see it and it's not like you're just you're saying oh i'm the best i'm the greatest it's just like it's just emanates from you that you are the shit if you're a female um, Virgo watching this, they're getting it. They're seeing it as well. So it's like you're confident, you're powerful, you're, you're wise, you're healing, and yet you're still playful and fun loving. Um, but something has happened, Virgo, where you and the person have separated and it was a complete cutoff. I feel like blocking or, you know, no communication. Um, it's like they change you up in Facebook prison and <laughs> you, you, you're not seeing them. You're not seeing anything from them at all. You can't see them. You can't see their post. They don't want you to. They, they don't want you to see any of their stuff. Um, this could be you or this could be the other person, but I think it's there's a lot of emotions involved in this connection and it's burdensome it's burdensome for this person um, they they don't want to deal with it the emotions are something maybe they from a child they you know they were told don't cry don't cry be strong don't cry and so this person is like oh emotions are weak emotions are weak I I can't tell this other person how I'm feeling. Sorry, Virgo, my battery died on my camera. I knew it was going to happen, but um, so yeah, I feel like um, whoever this person is, they the right now they're struggling. They're really struggling. They could be struggling with children. They could be str struggling, worry about this connection because they do feel very strongly towards you. They do want to be with you. Um, they feel, you know, healing energy when they're in your presence. Um, so I feel like this person, they're just struggling right now with their emotions. They're really not good at dealing with their emotions. So I feel like they're exhausted. They're stressed. Um, their health could be questionable right now because they're dealing with too much. Maybe too much responsibilities, um, too many pressures. And their emotions are really not helping this. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but I, I see that this person's going to have to do something 
uh, about these emotions or they're gonna get sick they're they're gonna crash they're gonna burn um, so they've got to do something pretty soon um, they could have to reveal their emotions which I feel like they're not good at doing that whoever this person is Virgo they're just re really not that good at it so that's all I have for you so thank you so much for coming thank you for joining me for this love reading um, don't forget to check out my Etsy. I have readings available over there. Um, also, my Patreon. I have exclusive videos available over there using my Tarot of Sexual Magic, which I don't use on YouTube because of um, monetization. They do not let me monetize uh, those type videos, 18 plus videos. So uh, if you want to see those type of readings, head on over to my Patreon. It's $5 a month. That's it. That's a cost of a coffee at Starbucks. Um, if you go to Starbucks, I don't. Um, but yeah, it's, it's only $5. So look into doing that maybe. And I will see you very soon. So love and light and have a good one. Bye-bye.